Well, we've got a situation here. Uh, this hot tub has sprung a leak. And it all started when I had replaced this washer. And once I put this in here, then a leak had uh, occurred underneath. And so I've got water running out as soon as I turn the jets on. So as you can see, it's it's running right out. It's uh, it looks like a pretty big leak underneath there. So we'll uh, we'll take the hot tub and we'll uh, tip it up and see what we can we can find out. There's really not a whole lot to this. Uh, what I've done is I've removed the pump so I can get in there a little bit, and uh, I'm gonna uh, hook this garden hose up to it and apply pressure to the jet side so I can see where the leak is underneath. I'm just gonna tip the hot tub up on its side so we can kind of determine where that is uh, and that's really all there is to it now I don't have the right tools for testing this as you can see with my other apparatus uh, so usually what they'll do is they'll put like plugs in here so they can cap it off but all I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the, the jet I'm going to take it out and I'm just going to take a plastic bag kind of pop that in there Thread that in. And that'll give it enough seal so I can see what's happening underneath. Tipping it up on its side like this really makes a big difference uh, being able to get up underneath. Just kind of crack that ever so slightly. So there you can see it's coming out in that area. Uh, but it actually could be leaking a little bit further up, so I'm going to go ahead and start cutting into that. So there's the problem right there. So what I need to do now is dig around in there a little bit more and see what I have to do to fix it. <clears throat> kind of get in there with the butter knife and work away at it. It's a little safer than using a sharp knife. Now, after a little bit of digging all the insulation around it, what I'll need to do is cut that off and uh, put a splice in there and patch it up and go from there. So, uh, you can see there's a little bit of work. Alright, now just kind of come in here with my PEX cutters. There we go. I don't know if that was from freeze or just from the weather or just worn out or what, but anyways, we need to uh, get ourselves some sort of a couple and it'll fit this now. It's getting a bit late, but I'm gonna run through this real quick. I got two couplings. I'm gonna uh, glue those on to the pieces that I cut. And I've got this piece of pipe here that I'm gonna glue inside here. And then um, I'll put it back on the tub and we'll give it a shot. I'm sure this is not how the professionals do it, but this is how I do it. It's going to get me by until I get maybe a new hot tub. Yeah, we'll let that set up. No really easy way to get in here, but I'm going to clean this both sides of these up, uh, put some primer on them, and then. Uh, Put my new coupling in place. As I said before, there's two by fours in my way, but here's my coupling. So now I'll put some glue on here, some glue in here, and I'll slide this one in. There's a better view of it right there. So as you can see, that 2x4 is kind of in my way. I didn't want to go through cutting that out of there and have to replace it. 
Well, I just put some pressure to it and everything's good. So now I'm gonna take some great stuff and kind of stuff it in there. So after putting the foam right to it, uh, I'm gonna set the tub back down, put some water in it, and we'll go from there. I started this about day ago, so the sun had a chance to dry this all out in pretty good shape. Well, well there it is. It's been uh, running for about an hour. I look around, I don't see any leaks. So I hope this will help you with yours.